Okay, welcome to lesson number three, or episode number three, I should call it, rather than lessons. Last lesson, we were talking about how to convert between binary and decimal, or deanery. And this lesson is the other way around. We're going to go from deanery to binary. So we'll be able to turn our human numbers that we're used to, our base 10 numbers, our decimal numbers, into the base 2 binary numbers. Well, let's see how we do it. So, the opposite way. First of all, write out your columns. When you're going from binary to deanery or deanery to binary, always write out your columns. Remember, the right-handmost column is the number base you're in to the power of zero, which will always be the ones. Then, just go up in your power ofs for each column. So, 2 to the power of zero is the first column. 2 to the power of one is the second column. 2 to the power of two, 2 to the power of three. So that gives you the 2s, the 4s, and the 8s. So normally you're working in 8 columns, and you just do it all the time. But if you want to save yourself some time, just look at the number you have. If the value of the left-hand column is larger than the deanery number you're going to convert, you're never going to need that column or anything more to the left of it, so ignore it. But assuming you now actually have enough columns to represent that number, the number you have, look at the leftmost column. If that number is the same or larger, well then you know you can put a 1 in that column. Then what you do is, whatever the value of that column is, subtract it from the deanery number. So for example, if the number was 12, and you were looking at the column which was 8, you'd put a 1 in there, and then take the 8 from the 12, which leave you 4 left to carry on and find columns to put in. And that's what you do. You move to the right, and you do the same thing again. You check. Is that deanery number the same or larger? Now, imagine the deanery number is smaller. So in our case, say you had two left, and you're in the column number eight. Well, don't worry about it. Put a zero, and move to the right again. And you just keep repeating those steps. So if the number that you're looking at if it's the same or larger than the column you're looking at, we'll put a 1 in the column and then take the value of that column away from the number. That will reduce that number. And then move to the next column on the right and check, compare it again. Is that number the same or larger? If it is, put a 1 in, take the value of that column away. If it's not, we well put a 0 and you move to the right. Well, let's have a look at an example to make things easier. Look, 14 here, okay? First things first, write out your columns. You should be used to these by now, your first one. To the power of zero is your ones, and then just double up from there. Twos, and then fours, and then eights, and then sixteens. Now remember what I said about if you're trying to save yourself some space? Well, compare your number with the left-handmost column. Is it bigger? So if that column is bigger than the number that you actually need, well, you know what? You're not actually going to need it, so just get rid of it. And that will give you the columns that you want. So, those are columns we have. Let's move to the left-hand column and compare. 14. Is that bigger than the column you're looking in? Well, yes, it is. You should know That means you know you're going to be able to get an 8 into this because it's larger. The new number is larger. So put a 1 in there. Then you have to do a bit of maths now. You have to subtract that value of the column, the 8, away from the deanery number. And that's going to leave you 6. So move to the right. Let's compare the values. Is the number larger? Yes, it is. So put a 1 in the column. Take away that value of that column away from it, 6 minus 4. It's going to leave you 2. Now what are you going to do? Move to the right. Now we're going to compare that. Is it larger or is it the same? It's the same in this case. So you can get a 2 into 2, so you put a 1 in into it. And now, take away the value of that column, 2 minus the 2, that's going to leave you nothing. So no matter how many more columns you now have to the right, every single one of those columns now is a 0. just happens there only is one left here. But say it happened at the 8 bit here, and this became 0 left at this point, you just keep filling in 0, 0, 0 all along there. And that's it, pop your 0 in. That's it, you're done. Now... You need to have a go at this. You need to pause this and have a go at it. So before you do that, 
you can convert these numbers from deanery to binary. So I'll tell you right now, you're only going to need maximum four columns. The ones, the twos, the fours, and the eights. What you're going to do is you're going to start in the left hand most column. You're going to look at that number, say for example it's the eight. You look at the leftmost column and say, is that larger or the same? If it is, you put a one in and then take the value of that column away and move to the right. Now if the number that you've got left is smaller than the column you're looking at, pop a zero in there and move to the right. Have a go at that. If you're still a little bit unsure, rewind the video, have a little go through it again, and then try these again. Pause the video. So for an eight, it was the left hand most column was an eight. So this was the eight columns. These were the fours, these were the twos, and these are the ones. Well, one eight can fit into there. Eight minus eight will left you zero, so just fill the rest in with a zero. Eleven, you can get one eight, then take away that eight away from eleven. That's going to leave you three left. Now this next column was the fours. The three is too small, so you can't get any fours into a three, so it'll be a zero. And then you move across to the next column, which is the twos. Now this two with three left, you can fit in because it's bigger. So do that. Three minus two would leave you one left. And the last column is the one, so you put a one in, that leaves you nothing left. So one, zero, one, one. Final one here is the 15s. Well, first column eight, that's going to fit in there. So you can have one eight into 15, so that's a one. Then take away that, and you're left with seven left. The next column is the fours, which again fits into sevens. So take away that. That's going to four away from the sevens, going to leave you three left. The next column is the twos. Yep, three, a two will fit into a three. So take that away. That's going to leave you a one. So 15 is one, 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 one. Reminder. GCSE, you'll be using a byte, eight columns. Now, get yourselves over to Edmodo, go and have a look on the deanery to binary quiz. I wonder how many of you accidentally did the binary to deanery instead of the deanery to binary. Again, if you don't like your result and you want to have another go, get in contact with me. I will delete your Edmodo entry and you can retry it. Have a go at that now, please. It is going on your gradebook. That takes us to the end of this really section for number systems around binary. You should know that binary is made up of bits, the ones and zeros. The eight of those is a byte. You should know about the three number systems we use in computer science. There are others, but the ones that you need to know about for GCSE. It's deanery or decimal, base 10, binary, base 2, and hex, base 16. You need to know that computers use digital data to store all data instructions, and that digital data is in binary, the ones and zeros. Why? Because it uses low voltage and high voltage and all the circuits that the computer uses. You should be able to know now how binary is used to represent whole numbers, and you should be able to convert between binary and deanery or decimal, and vice versa, decimal or de deanery to binary. And if you wanted to challenge yourself, Think about the base 8 numbering system. What's the first column going to be? 8 to the power of 0. What's the next column? 8 to the power of 1. What's the next column? 8 to the power of 2. So, what is the date for Halloween? What is that? The 31st of October. And Christmas Day, when's that? That's the 25th of Dec. December. There you go, that's all the clues I'm giving you. There will be more to follow. Thanks for listening.